is just days away from the near total solar eclipse here in Western Mass. Takes place April 8th this year. And first, obviously, first alert meteorologist Don Maher explaining why it may be easier to see this year's eclipse in the Northeast compared to previous ones. For the second time in less than 10 years, much of the continental United States will be able to experience a total solar eclipse, the last one occurring in August of 2017. Though this year's eclipse could be more exciting for many more people in the United States, especially those of us in the Northeast. The past of totality in 2017 basically extended from the Pacific Northwest through the central portion of the United States, through Tennessee, Georgia, and South Carolina. However, in 2024, the path of totality will begin in Texas and make its way a more northeasterly track, and it will cover some of the bigger cities in the United States, especially in New York, Vermont, and into Maine. So for 2024, an estimated 31.6 million people live in the path of totality this year, with 150 million people living within 200 miles of the path of totality. 99% of people residing in the United States will be able to see a partial or total eclipse. If you wanted to be in the path of totality in 2017, you have to do a little bit of traveling into Tennessee or maybe two portions of the southeast. That's not going to be the case with the eclipse coming up in just a matter of days. In fact, there are going to be some cities here in the northeast where you can experience totality. One being Rochester, New York, which will experience 3 minutes and 38 seconds of totality. Totality beginning at 3.20 p.m. If you want to travel into portions of New England, Burlington, Vermont, will experience 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Of, to of totality beginning at 3.26 p.m. And Holton, Maine, which is right in the center of the path of totality, 3 minutes and 18 seconds, which will begin at 3.32 p.m. The eclipse will last about 2 hours and 20 minutes from start to finish. And even though we're not going to experience a total solar eclipse here in Springfield, we are going to see 93.3% coverage with the eclipse beginning at 2.13 p.m. Maximum eclipse is at 3.27 p.m. in the afternoon. It will end at 4.37 p.m. Even though we're not going to experience totality here in Springfield, you want to be sure to view the eclipse using approved eye protection. And let's hope the weather cooperates because the next total eclipse here in America doesn't take place place until August 23rd, 2044. For Western Mass News, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Don Maher. Certainly fingers crossed for clear weather that day and our special coverage of the Great American Eclipse will continue all week right here on the networks of Western Mass News. Tune in at 4 and 5 on ABC 40 and like Olivia said earlier, we are giving away those free eclipse glasses while supplies last this Thursday tomorrow at the Western Mass News Studios down at the plaza at MGM Springfield. We'll be out there noon to 1 and then again from 4 to 6 p.m.